Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be testing this cabin temperature sensor. This sensor came out from a Dodge Durango, uh, but the same uh, sensor has been used in other Chrysler Jeep models. This is the part number, just in case you want to see if your car or truck has the same uh, temperature sensor. Okay, no more talking and let's go straight to the video. Okay, for testing this, uh, as you can see, the pins right here are pretty close. Pin number one, number two, number three, and number four. Number one and number two are the pins I'm gonna use. So number one is power, number two is ground. So I try to use this alligator but are too big, are small, but are too big to fit in there. So for that, what I did is this. I remove a little bit of the wire inside, okay? And then I'm gonna insert right there and the on the first one, I'm gonna insert right there. And now the other one, I'm gonna insert and then on the, on the number two, okay? Right there, okay? Make sure I'm making a good contact. Now, the multimeter that I'm going to be using is this one. This one is from Home Depot, okay? Let me explain a little bit more. Now it's off. Now we're gonna go to the Omega symbol right there, okay? One, two, and three. Right there is on the Omega symbol. Now we wanna press here and it's going to auto mode. So now it's auto, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna connect the red one right there and the black one right here, okay. As you can see, it's working, okay? It's showing some numbers, so it's working. Now, let's see if it is working properly. If it's dead. I'm gonna test to see if it's working good. Okay, I'm gonna apply a little heat with a hair dryer, okay? When I apply the heat, the this number is gonna decrease. If you, then this number decrease, it's going down, that means that temperature sensor is good. So let's try it. Okay, as you can see, I applied a little bit of heat and the number start to decrease. Now it's going up. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit, a little bit more heat. And the number decrease again. Now it's going up, okay? This means that this sensor is working perfect, okay? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video helped you in case you need to test a cabin temperature sensor. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.